Dragon Lord. Wait, did it start me over? The fuck. I think it started over. No. Don't tell me it start over. No. Load. This. Yes, there we go. Alright. <laughs> I'm not starting over. Nice try. <laughs> All right, HQ, this is Metal Hawk 765. We'll be arriving soon at point A. Over. This is HQ. Roger, Metal Hawk 765. Hospital land here immediately. You're carrying him? Of course. Customer is here. I turn this down a bit. So it's not just yelling at you guys. Pilot of, of helicopter disguise for the private sector responds in a bad mood and tilt the control stick. I will sit uh, on the seat behind that and just wait for the landing. Mountain of darkness that goes on forever and continue flying between the moon, which I feel felt brighter than usual two hours past. At last, it seems this comfortable air travel ends. When a helicopter carrying me stays in above the place where the light was lit, follow the direction of, of the guide and slowly landed on the open. Arrived customers. In an unfriendly voice, the pilot calls my name. I will not reply to him having a huge duffel bag silently open the door of the helicopter. Oh, gosh dang, I flicked it out. Oh, hello, Lilith. It's not your business. Finally, it seems that pilot said something. The helicopter roar sound was noisy, and I couldn't hear it well. So, probably didn't need to listen. If you two are wondering what this is, this is an SCP visual novel. As I got out of the helicopter, there were a lot of armed men there. Everyone had a, has a gun in hand and is guarding. Mobile Task Force of Foundation. Okay, I will say this. This game was originally made in Japanese, so there are going to be some English translation errors. <laughs> so yes, and I'll try to fix English when, when possible. All right. Apparently, it seems that soldiers of the size of one company are being introduced. I mean, I don't think so. I mean, it was a free game. It's free on Steam. Perhaps it, it seems to be members of the Japanese branch, but since there are many people who covered the real face, I don't know. Made clear. However, this tense feeling as if wartime reminiscent reminded me that it was meaningless, such as a right racial question. Whoa, oh, uh. Oh, okay, we're just gonna continue off of that. <laughs> While feeling a lot of gaze from such frightening members, I head for the Battle Command Center tent. On the way, two members of the group who were discussing without noticing me interrupted my way. Move it. 
When I said that, the two soldiers hurriedly pa uh, paved the way. When I passed by between the two guys. I mean, these two. I mean, the designs are really good. For a free game. Hey, look at. It's the guy called by a captain. I think the man at headquarters MTF. I heard it was called Immortal. Captain said that. Huh. It's a funny joke. Mortality is about SC. You see, here's another. Here's an error just for. First off, SCIP, not SC. It's supposed to be SCP. Anyway, the guy is merely lucky bastard. I heard a sarcasm of two soldiers. In any branch, people who came from the headquarters are disliked. I got used to such such sarcasm. Well, what they say is right. While doing business with the foundation and immortal is a ridiculous joke SCP is deadly except a few exceptions to those who mostly involved are driven to death if I want to live normally never get involved <laughs> but yes uh, I, I guess it's kind of cool, but I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> it's an abnormal existence that needs to be kept away from a peaceful world as much as possible. Therefore, those who are not from the beginning to plan to live normally actively involved. So, for example, like me and them, while thinking about such things, I will stop. Hmm? You, you haven't taken the safety on, rookie. I said so, and, and and I started walking again. What? You fucker! This is my safety. Of course, affiliation. You scared, and can't get a hold of a gun without safety. A soldier with assault rifle gets angry and raises a voice, but was soothed to another soldier, never shouted any further. As I didn't look back, I didn't know what he says this. At least, let's pray that let him live as long as possible. And right after, I came in front of the headquarters tent. I didn't hesitate. I went inside. Is Captain Albert here? I entered a tent and I immediately asked. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> oh. Well, I think this definitely is an SCP game. <laughs> uh, but earlier, then the reply comes back. The line of sight of the soldiers who are working in the tent are all directed to me. Dreams being running music intensifies. <laughs> Their eyes are so. Awesome. Their eyes are surprises and eyes to see strange objects. There's an awkward silence in a tent. Anime girls? <laughs> well, I did say it was a Japanese game. <laughs> of course there are going to be Japanese girls. <laughs> silence is still uncomfortable. Well, well, when I think so... Everyone can... Can't walk on him a little more. There's an SCP that makes anime girls, isn't there? I mean, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> that man's heart is scratched. Brooke, 
They broke the silence and I heard a man's voice. At the same time, a muscular guy appeared from, from the far side of the tent. It's been a long time, Bando. I'm glad to know you're doing well. <laughs> oh my god. MTF 06 Green Giant Commander Captain Albert What happened was a white male in the, in the early 40s It was Captain, Captain Albert who invited me here He belongs to the MTF of Foundation Headquarters As many years as expert of countermeasures against SCP Captain <laughs> Did you get a little old? You're, st you're still kid as usual. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You were wearing black earlier. Did you just change in front of me? <laughs> hold on. Well, come on, I was waiting for you. Captain greeted me with a welcome, welcome attitude. The other soldiers who saw it returned to their work. Silence disappears from within the tent. Captain moved to the table located in the center. I also followed him and put a big baggage on the ground. I was surprised to hear that Captain moved from the United States to this far east. Apparently, it seems that you are doing well. Oh wait, that was a monologue, oh fuck. <laughs> in the same treatment as, as the motion, I thought you were in a bad mood. Don't worry. I traveled all over the world. Although, human climate of East Asia is unbearable. I wasn't sent to the unexplored jungle or extreme cold South Pole. I'm lucky. And Japanese soldiers are diligent. Besides, there are guts too. If the leader is excellent, the subordinates will also become excellent. Although the Japanese branch says that there was a serious shortage of human resources, since three months ago, containment breach accidents. The rookie being trained by Captain will have a hard time. After a long time of reunion, we make sh sure of our friendship. About ten years have passed since I became acquainted with Captain. Here, yeah, see, it, it looks black. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> See, is the, is the captain just trading, uh, changing sh shirts or something? Just at light speed. That's his SB power. He changes shirts at light speed. Captain has an active, uh, active as MTF and tactical resources officer of Foundation for many years. And is a person who has confronted a number of SCPs. Before belonging to the Foundation, he, he belonged to the U.S. Marines Force Recon and experienced the Iraq War. Oh. Oh. My Wi-Fi keeps dying. Oh no, Penguin. After that, he moved to CIA's Isa Gray Fox. Continued intelligence, intelligence activities even after a Great Fox disappears. Next, when it's getting transferred to ISA Task Force Orange, and as a last work, secretly involved in Operation Neptune Spear. After returning to the United States, he was scouted for the Foundation. 
It's my muscles keep ripping his shirt, so he has to keep changing them. <laughs> And has a track record of working on several MTF formation at the head office. The career itself is very suspicious, but at least I trust him. We got acquainted before entering a foundation, and he also scouted me to foundation a few years ago. However, although there were various at the time, it was mine who relied on Captain. How is the air in Japan? Captain asked su suddenly. Nothing. What, what, what's that supposed to fucking mean? There's no air in Japan? Okay. They're all Japanese people are, are special. Air is air. <laughs> there isn't any impression. For my dad, it may be home country, but for me, it's a strange land. Of all, Japan is too difficult to learn a language. Oh, I I'm guessing Bando does not like Japan. <laughs> and I replied, Captain said, right. And he showed a lonely look. I have half Jap Japanese blood flowing, the other half are Iranian. That's why I'm half Japanese, half Iranian. Bando seems to be surname of Japan, but I don't know the details. Anyways, I was born and raised in the Middle East. Bando is American. <laughs> because my father abandoned home country. <laughs> Jesus. Therefore, I don't feel so much that the Japanese blood is mixed with myself. Whoops, never mind. <laughs> I guess it's not American, huh? <laughs> well then, how about you come to Japan from the United States? But as I arrive at the airport, I was suddenly taken away to such a mountainous area. I don't know who Mr. Eggplant is. <laughs> to such pathetic me. What are you letting me do? I got into the subject. It's not a hobby to waste time with the pleasure of reunion forever. Okay. Let's talk about the cir circumstances of the thing. First of all, it's irrelevant to the, this incident and what you call from the head office. Albert is Mr. Eggplant. Oh, for now. When the captain comes up with a delicate look, he places a breath and starts talking. About three hours before the present time, Foundation Japan Branch intercepted a mysterious phone call. Apparently, it seems an ordinary person was seeking help from the police. The place where the telephone was sent is about five kilometers south of here, beyond a mountain. It's in a village called... Fuck, I'm gonna butcher it. Natadamura. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, there we go. Natataramura. Natataramura. It was a village I didn't hear. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just silence, but... Anyway, it was a... It was a village I didn't hear. Although, it probably will be a few people who notice village in the countryside. What's the call comment? Oh, okay. Well, they're dead. Call orientation number one one zero. It's a 
it was a thing that was sent from a, from a smartphone to the police. The voice of the phone is of a woman, and it seems to be a student because it was still reverently young. As long as you listen to call logs, the girl was shouting the same words repeatedly. Help, help me. Be killed by the flesh. Okay, I already think I know what this is from the last episode I did. Uh, it mimicked people's voices, and now it's been called the flesh. This is 939. This is SCP-939. I bet it. I bet five dollars that it's SCP-939. Apparently, she seems to, to have been chased by something. It was very eminent voice. The flesh. When I heard that word, I had a very bad feeling. The, the flesh. It's possible it's a word I don't want to hear much, especially regarding this business. In my words, Captain nods slowly. Foundation Japan, Japan branch judged the situation and decided this to dispatch MTF. We set a warning line around the village with a barbed wire and an infrared detector and blocked it completely. At least, no one has escaped from the village until the present time. Anyway, Bando, how far do you know about SCP-610? Fuck, I forgot about the flesh that hates. Damn it. I was fucking close. Okay, this now it's time for you guys to decide. Top answer or bottom answer? I'm letting you guys decide. Top or bottom? Okay, we got Dragon Lord's answer. What about Lilith? If they're still here. Oh, oh no, those are looking for each other. <laughs> Alright. Looks like coins. Alright. Alright, heads it's top, tails it's bottom. Alright, we go with top. <laughs> it was heads. Sorry, dragon. <laughs> we'll only hit more people in chat. Oh, well, uh, um, was it SCP that was discovered in Russia? To be honest, I don't know the details. Oh, 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 oh. Super precise, the biohazard that occurred in the vicinity of Russia's southern Siberia Lake uh, Baikal was a large delay from the chat to be apparent on screen. Oh. Oh no. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. And the injected, pe and the injected people by that are called SCP-610. An infected person will mutate into a brown flesh mass, eventually losing its intellect and becoming a thing to a spread infection. In addition, it often changes to organism, organisms, not, not that other thing I said, like plants, and, also, and it's also characterized by having flesh rooted in infected areas. With this characteristic, when a biohazard occurs, organic substances or inorganic substances 
and land around us, the surroundings become the flesh that hates. If flesh is rooted even once, complete removal is impossible. There is no choice but to isolate and control infection. Really. That SCP is... pisses me off. Well, well, it's unlike you. It looks like a grudge as well. That's right. I'm grudging. At the time of discovery of SCP-610, the units dispatched to the site and and damage were it was my students. This is the document that be, that can be disclosed. Check it. I roughly read and past detail the past materials and understand only the important things. Basically did this biohazard occur in Natatamora? No. According to the record, no abnormality was reported within the vicinity. Yet suddenly, it can't be thought that a large number of objects like SCP-610 will appear. So there is there a possibility that someone brought spores? There is no evidence that spores and organisms kept in the foundation were brought out. And there's no information that someone has invaded Site A. In addition, as a result of collecting and, and investigating air samples around the village about one hour ago by UAV, microparticles and spores containing elements of SCP-610 weren't detected. What? That there is no spore or flesh piece? There's the possibility of existence different from SCP-610? Yes, several similar SCPs have been discovered so far, but we can't conclude yet under percent situation. Okay, so it can still be 939. Okay, but it's still on. However, if it's the same existence, it's mysterious that already infected people haven't begun to wander. In other words, Unknown SCP, different from SCP-610, is over there. Spores or viruses. Place or thing. Or another something. I don't know the identity, but there is a possibility. So. <sighs> so. So, I need to go to the site and investigate the claws. I see. It's exactly the right mission for me. <laughs> wow, Captain showed an expression of mixed feelings. Um... As you said, Foundation Japan Branch lost a lot of staff at the three months ago containment breach accidents. Many experienced soldiers also become Kia, and nearly half the soldiers in this space are as amateurs. Moreover, as a result of rushing up personnel replenishment, there are also people who don't have any military carriers. Although they are diligent, but they are useless in actual combat. Any further loss? It's un unacceptable as MTFs. You notice that too. In this case, it may be a trollsome situation. It's necessary to confirm facts as soon as possible in order to su suppress the damage. I need your power once your power belonging to M mtf tau 5 samsara is necessary for us 
NTF Tau 5 Samurai. That was the name I heard after a long time. It's the nostalgic. And it's also a name I didn't want to recall. Understanding that, he dares say it. That's fucking old fart. This is business. Besides, I owe you. When I replied, Captain muttering as thanks. And get guess from Captain's words, the units have not yet going to Nanotermora. If you only give priority to securing SCPs, you should have brought soldiers of the Japanese branch to the village at once. In that case, it's impossible to imagine how many victims will come from the soldiers. He didn't act foolishly as a leader of the unit. Information on a Natatamora. Oh shit, that was a dialogue. Fuck. <laughs> After silence for a while, I ask him. Natatamora was a total area of about 29 square meters of uh, kilometers with a population of 954 people mainly agricultural industry and forestry is the village income source in the past more than 5,000 people lived but since 2000 development of high-speed railroads and road transport networks caused a straw phenomenon in which many residents leave the village. Furthermore, the tightening of local finances and declining birth rate in the recession also overlapped. And now it became a fine depopulated area. In the United States, it's, it's a place called sparsely populated areas. Well, it's a typical Japanese countryside. I'll give you a map if necessary. I'm not asking about that. I got frustrated and interrupted words of the captain. That's because it, it was only a waste of time to listen to such a wasteful talk anymore. You told me that you intercepted a phone a well, little while ago, about three hours before the present time. Assuming that Foundation intercepted information after organizing and dispatching the Reconnaissance Re Re team, observed the destination from the sky in the Reconnaissance satellite. Judging from the A class, is a threat about sending send about 150 soldiers of the Japanese bridge and form of, uh, from form the encirclement network. Considering the location conditions of the village, it isn't a strategy action that can be de de deployed in about three hours. So when's the enemy coming out? <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Even if SCP-610 is evolved, Foundation ignores the investigation procedure. Suddenly, it's impossible to move large units. NTF is basically a stealth mission with a small number in case it doesn't change in any country. Basically, the Jap Japan branch was aware of the abnormal situation before the telephone. No. In advance, when problems occurred in Natsumura, its plan and procedure were, de were decided. Different? I will question Captain closely. And then he sighed. I am no match for you. If you deceive, I'm out of this mission. Use D class. Captain begins to talk again with a weary smile. Now, Japanese branch is even short of people in D class. I can't waste it. 
All right. Although it's a part of confidentiality, I teach information as far as I can know. Just to confirm. Keep it to yourself. Conceal any information. That goes without saying. I was robbed of the words. Captain gave a weary smile again. Oh, it just goes dark. Oh. Oh. The identity of Nata Tamora. It's a people avoided village created by the cover, cover story of the Japanese government. The village name and location, ghost sightings and rumors. <laughs> of eerie customs. The nation in intentionally did disseminates the occult talk somewhere. It had isolated the village. Actually, people in other towns and villages became creepy and didn't come close. The country intentionally? Why is it? That is because the mountains around Natatamora function as the inform informal waste disposable facility of the Japanese government. Wait. Oh my gosh, this is one seven three like um uh oh shit. Uh I'm gonna kill your music and and the uh, containment breach. I just realized that. Well then that was that's interesting. <laughs> Radioactive waste that the Japanese government can't publicize. Lots of trash that can't be processed elsewhere. Other harmful objects, etc. on public safety work. It had buried everything and thoroughly concealed it so as not to touch the eyes of the public and the media. It was not that more that was responsible for the monitoring of the waste disposal facility in camouflage. Only a few occult manias or prejudice approaches the village. Either way, people's consciousness isn't directed to the surrounding mountains. Instead of being stigmatized by the village, the village mayor seems to have received free grants from the country. Basically, the Nata Tamora is an illegal dumping place operated by the government. And it was a graveyard where one end of Japanese darkness was buried. Perhaps there, was, there, will, there will be several such places in the country. So, this is the stage face of Nata Tamora. In fact, is the foundation involved? That's right. Anyways, Nazi Tamora has disappeared once on the Japanese map as it merged with other towns and villages in 1955. By media manipulation of the government and foundation, current, currently its official presence. But even if it's searched on the internet, information about the village hardly hints. Furthermore, more than half of the resident villagers seem to have been a field agent of Foundation. And as as you said, I just deployed soldiers and coordinately to the emergency response protocol that the Foundation decided. A village that's disappeared from the map. What did Foundation do there doing? Oh, this is an interesting camera angle. <laughs> I can see my own ass. When I asked, Captain sighed. I don't know. Japanese branch didn't disclose information to me yet so far. Apparently, even in A class, it seems it's a special case that only few people know. 
O5 Council. Come on, come on. You are the, you are NTF of this mission, are you not? Then you should have been given information on security clearance level four. That's that's right, as it should be. But it's literally I didn't hear anything. It's too suspicious. The directives given to me by them are field investigation and concealment work of incidents in the village. Thorough surroundings of surroundings, securing a normal existence, or is to be terminated by physical means. And the protection of her. When Captain says so, he takes out one photo and places it on the table. There. Oh, that was the girl I was playing as on the last stream. A girl was shown. A woman, and it's still a child. Student? Her name is Ryosen Kanata. Age is 18 years. Japan, Japanese nationals. She goes to the village's only consistent school. As a physical feature, it seems that both eyes are not perfectly visible. It's a blind, visual, visually impaired person. I pick up the pictures and look at the girl's figure. Shoulder width of a feminine, slender, and handsome face. Black hair looks like a Japanese, but fair skin and high nose look like Westerners. No, in this case, facial features and color of the skin are big problems. <laughs> like, Jesus. <laughs> SCP, of course, also includes human. Even if, if it looks no like a normal human being, there are many who are are certified by SCPs. As a precedent, there are cases where all human beings in the village are, were certified as SCPs. Anyway, don't judge by appearance. At least, no special abnormality can, can be felt in appearance. Even so, it's some me mental salvation. Are you interested? What? She is a beautiful woman. Besides, a cute face. It's your favorite type. Captain says while grinning. Are you kidding me? Don't get angry. Just kidding. However, it's true that it was ordered to protect that girl. <sighs> that old fart. So, why does the Foundation want to protect this girl? Is she a relative of A1 class? Wait, uh, A class, not A1 class. What the fuck? I don't know. There's no information. What the fuck? Okay, there it goes. Is she. Is she the people concerned foundation? Or even SCP? Anyway, her protection is the most important matter. As soon as an abnormal existence and it's the girl have been secured, a village scorched earth approach is to be executed. An old soldier experience? It's a mission of something disgusting. Captain gives a shrug. It's not uncommon for the Foundation not to provide important information to the people in the field. But that's an existential crisis problem for unit leaders. Because of the lack of information, if the strategy fails and the subordinate dies, he must carry all the responsibility at the end. Whatever. Anyway. My work is to protect the girl and find the cause of the situation. Is that is this okay? I see the back of the photo. Several pieces of information on the girls were written there. 
when I remembered information, the picture in my breast pocket, and take out the necessary equipment from the bag I put on the ground. Body armor with various accessories attached. Automatic pistol pierced and high thigh holster. A 5.56 millimeter assault rifle carrying the optical sight. Equipped them and prepared for combat. And finally, picked several pen injectors. However, no, that that would be enough. I reconsider and I take out the empty pin injector instead and pierced it in my own right chest. I feel sharp pain in the injection needle. But this is the kind of pain I'm already accustomed. Immediately after collecting contents of I put the pin injector and a small pouch of body armor. You are you still doing that? Even if I look at it many times, it it will be a shudder. It, it looks like a junkie. Original is valuable, so I can't waste it. Besides, it's not injection by but collection now. Don't want me want me in with junkie. And you are doing the opposite thing, are you? The opposite junkie. I glare at Captain without returning any words. Captain gave me a weary smile and never said a poor joke anymore. Well, I got off track. But there is no doubt that a disaster has occurred in the village. I don't predict that will happen if you enter the village. Will you take my subordinate? Not for me. By the way, how many armored fighting vehicles are deployed here? At a matter of time, we barely brought an AMV. I mean, AFV. What the? F <laughs> basic, basic military force is about 150 infantry deployed on the ground, and only three Black Hawks will be can be adapted. However, the aircraft carrier of Foundation, who disguised as U.S. Navy, Gerald. Our four class is operating offshore within the adapted range, and in it, the strike package is waiting. Don't worry, even if it's attacked by a Transformers, if I can help you, that's reassuring. <laughs> oh, I try to leave the tent. Bando. Always turn on walkie talkies. And and then GPS. Troublesome custom of foundation is the same in Japan. Ethan raises a loud voice as if he, he were a father watching a child off. I shook hand, shook hands without replying to the words, and I left the tent. Oh. oh, 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 we're on night vision now, motherfuckers. An order to head to Natatamora was going through the mountain across the barbed wire. The time has passed, 23 o'clock, and the surroundings are perfect darkness. Furthermore, since the leaves of the tree blocked the moonlight, even the feet can't be seen without night vision. <sighs> Our artist provided for the head. Still, I continue to walk while paying attention to my feet. And in the mountain area at night, even a small sound echoes around. For example, sounds folded down twigs, sound that arm hits brush bushes, sling. Swivel sounds, metal sound. If those sounds echo even once, a location is instantly revealed. 
time as nice sensitizes creatures' ears. Unlike desert and urban areas, cautiousness is indispensable to put on a mountainside night. Moreover, if the target is unknown existence, I should try to be more cautious. However, I grew up in the desert. I'm not used to mountain combat, etc. I continue to walk while thinking so. Still, it's quiet. Creepy. Only the sounds of insects and sounds where plants shake with the wind are only heard. I can't hear the bird's voice. And I don't feel someone. Wind is lukewarm. Air clings to the skin and is filled with discomfort. Still, I head for the village. At the same time, I gradually begin to feel a bad smell. The smell of blood enough to cause nausea. And the smell of internal organs of, an, of the organism. When I felt that smell was full, I arrived at my destination. Alright. We're just gonna stop it here. It's... Wait, oh. Save there. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm gonna save it there. And I hope you all enjoyed that. Enjoyed uh what I did with that. It I didn't expect there to actually be an SCP visual novel. Yeah, and uh, two people who are still here, uh, for probably mo probably this month and another month. Or two, I'll be doing a bunch of uh, SCP games that I've gotten from Steam and from Game Jolt. There's a shit ton of them that I'm going to go through. So yeah, be excited for that. It's, it's, it's a lot. But anyway, until next time, D-Class, peace.